If you have a Mini Cooper with an uncontrollable idle and you've already tried everything, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Guys, thank you for joining me today. Mike MD here. All right, I'm gonna fill you in on what's going on with this Mini Cooper. Uh, this is actually our shop car uh, we acquired from a customer. Uh, we rebuilt the, the whole motor, right? And it was working fine. It was working fine for, uh, for about a couple weeks and until it started developing this crazy idle so we know it has nothing to do with um, carbon buildup or anything like that. We already put new spark plugs in this thing. Uh, we've done, uh, it actually had faults for air mass meter uh, plausibility and that was it and then later as we kept driving it like that to try to get more faults uh, to get more clues it did have a lean mixture fault that's when the uh, engine sucks in more air or isn't giving it enough fuel but come to find out those were just consequential fault codes for what the real issue was so the symptom our mini developed was like a chugging sensation it would have like a long cranking to get it going to get it started you'd actually have to hit the gas pedal uh, to get the thing uh, to where it would actually start. And then once it got started, it would have this run, 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 this idle. And especially when you put it in the drive, it would definitely chug and shake the whole car. It was very violent. Uh, check this video out. This is what it was doing right here. drive with the brake on I can barely hold the camera still it violently shakes the whole vehicle put it back in park okay and like I said we had already placed a ton of stuff we replaced ignition coils it had some aftermarket uh, Chinese coils in there and they barely fit in there uh, we re replaced those just to get that out of the way uh, put new spark plugs in it the air mass meter fault that it had uh, generally speaking when these cars get an air mass meter fault it's actually due to a faulty uh, throttle body electric throttle body that the car has they're made out of plastic and they get warpage or the actual gear inside will start to uh, wear out and cause actually a mass air meter fault so we put a new throttle body in it uh, and that did not fix it we put a new mass air meter in it uh, we actually just swapped it from another mini and that did not fix it. Uh, sometimes a stuck open tank venting valve, that's where it, it ventilates the vapors from the fuel tank into the engine. If it gets jammed open, then the engine just sucking in just pure uh, raw fuel fumes. Actually, I just bypassed it and that did not help either. We started unplugging different sensors and checking all kinds of things. We checked the wiring harness at the engine control module just to make sure there was no water in there or damage. We have also seen a bad thermostat sensor can cause weird issues like this. It's actually usually a no start that can cause that with no other fault codes. We tried that, nothing. And we checked the timing of the engine. We thought maybe it's just out of timing from uh, just replacing a bunch of components inside the motor. We checked timing, that was fine. We ch checked the ventilation valve here, the positive crankcase ventilation valve for the engine. These are known to go bad, there's a diaphragm in there. Um, but it was way too violent uh, for that to be causing that. It usually just causes a little, little rough running and then sometimes like a whistle noise uh, from that component. And that's actually a newer valve cover anyway. So that, that was fine. Uh, like I said, guys, we checked all kinds of stuff. Sometimes an alternator with voltage that is oscillating can cause weird idle issues. Uh, but generally speaking, not when you're in drive. So... Uh, so what it came down to was an actual faulty vano solenoid valve. So these solenoid valves are what adjust the timing units uh, via oil pressure. These are electronically controlled and there's a little solenoid that goes in and out in here like a plunger, electronically controlled. And on this motor, it's on the intake side, which is down in here under this pipe. Okay, and this motors, this is a turbocharged motor. This is what they call an N14 engine. Also the N12 engine is a non-turbo. They both have the same setup with a solenoid valve only on this side. Now generally, generally the solenoids when they go bad, you just notice a little bit of a 
rough idle and sometimes uh, pulsating when you come to a stop. But it usually, oh, it, every time that we've come across this issue, it has set a check engine light and a fault code and it's easier to diagnose. And in this sense, it, it did not set a fault code and we drove it many miles. So when we replaced that solenoid valve, it fixed the issue. We actually pulled this guy out and you can see in there, in the screen, there's a bunch of debris. Uh, in our case, it looks like it's sand, probably from the machine shop. They, when they sandblasted the, the, the cylinder head, some pieces got stuck in there. And this filter screen actually did its job, but some pieces probably that are smaller than the screen got inside there and jammed the plunger and was causing that issue. And generally speaking, when these go bad, they do set a fault code for timing. That, like I said, guys, that was a weird situation. I have never seen that before. I have seen those calls cause weird idle issues, but like I said, they always set a fault code. So if you have no other solid faults to go off of, this is a good idea to do. Now, now these solenoid valves, guys, don't go Chinese, don't go aftermarket. There are some bulletins and some forums that say you can clean the screens in the valve, but here's the thing. Uh, a lot of times that doesn't work. Uh, you can blow it out with compressed air, but the, the valve is jammed already. There's already debris inside of those screens. Um, so you might not have the best of luck cleaning those out properly. Guys, I hope this really helped you out and this helps some of you. I was looking for videos just like this for this issue and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. And it was something so easy right under my nose the whole time and a little bit embarrassing because we do specialize in these cars, but sometimes you just get those oddball ones that you can't figure out. Guys, I will see you on the next video. Happy motoring to you.